Welcome back. Memorial Day is often considered the unofficial start of the grilling season. And joining us now to talk about all you can do is Rachel Minus with the Northeast Sam's Club. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for having us. So there's a lot of stuff you can do on the grill, clearly, as you can see here. But you want to start talking about what you can do with appetizers. Absolutely. So like you said, you can grill just about anything um, over the summer. And the summer is a great time to kick off your grilling season. Um, so we can start out with appetizers, chicken or beef kebabs. Um, you can do some... Uh, hearts of romaine, slice those in half with mm -hmm. some Caesar vinaigrette, place those on the grill for about six minutes till they char, add some chicken breast and you have a great meal. Um, you may have not ever thought of grill cocktails, but that's what we've done today. Right. So you place your watermelon on the grill, cube it up, blend it up with your favorite spirit, put that in a martini glass, garnish with cucumber and you're ready to go with your grilled um, drink. Yeah, that's a very interesting one. I have done the romaine. I've done a, a grilled Caesar salad. That one's a popular one. I've done kebabs before. I have never grilled a cocktail, though I have grilled for like a dessert thing. I have done fruits. I have done, you know, the we tried pears once. That didn't work out, but pineapple <laughs> works great. Right. So pineapple sliced on the grill, drizzle with honey and cinnamon, and you have the perfect dessert. Sweet and juicy. It's very great. I like doing the spears, but the rounds I'm sure would be great as well. They're delicious. And then you got some hacks to talk about as well. Things you may not have thought about doing with the grill. Right. So absolutely you're going to want to grill um, steaks over the weekend. We recommend our USDA choice ribeye steaks. Um, and if you don't have a thermometer, no problems, no worries. You take the thumb, place it onto your palm of the hand, that's going to feel like a rare steak. Mm -hmm. You take your index finger to your thumb, that's going to feel like medium rare. A middle finger to your thumb, rare. Ring finger to thumb, medium, and pinky is well done. And that's what you feel like. You touch the steak lightly because it's going to be hot. Absolutely. So that's what it should feel like, the different consistencies, depending on how you want it. Absolutely. Um, we also have our spiraled hot dogs. So this is another great little hack. Yeah. Um, just put it on a skewer, cut it around with your knife, place it on your grill. You're going to get a great, juicy hot dog. Plus, all of those spirals are going to hold in your condiments in the bun. So I've, I've heard of this trick. I've never tried it. Does it really work? Does that's, it actually yes. keep it in? Yes, it does. It's that's, awesome. that's a great one. I'm going to have to try that next mm -hmm. time I try it on the grill. But then you've also got lighter options as well. People aren't wanting to know you know all this meat and you know the heavy stuff right so my favorite is our grilled citrus uh, salmon and what you do is slice up some lemons place that onto your grill not only will that help um, your salmon not to stick to the grill but it also infuses your fish with some great flavor yeah, and doing fish on the grill, I mean, it sounds, it may sound weird if people have never tried it, but I love doing the cedar plank salmon on the right. grill. That's a great way to get a lot of flavor, and it just, it's a different way of doing fish than just baking it. And then oh, you've yeah. also got one other kind of lighter option. Right, um, just pork, grilled, asparagus, seasoned how you like on your grill is perfect. Okay, perfect. So all of this, you have to have the grill, and you have to have the grill well maintained. To absolutely, make this work, right? absolutely. So some tips for your grilling in the summertime. You definitely don't want to run out of propane in the middle of your grilling dinner. Um, so one hack to be able to test um, your propane tank to see if it's full is take a warm cup of water, pour it onto the side of it. Mm -hmm. Where it's warm is where it's empty. Where it's colder is where your tank level is on the fuel. Um, also maintain your grill by cleaning it after each use. If you don't have a grill brush, no problem. Take some um, tin foil, roll it in a ball with your tongs, scrape away your grill, you're ready to go. Um, you can also use that with an onion. Cut an onion in half, put a fork in it, and clean away on your grill. That's a good one. I've got a grill brush, but it's getting old. I need to replace it if ever it breaks out, and I'll have to definitely use that. Absolutely. And so you guys have got a lot, a lot of great options for everyone to consider for Memorial Day, whether you're at home, going out, and doing fun things. And, uh, yeah, definitely want to think about doing it as you celebrate this great holiday. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for joining us. There's a lot of great options here. And stay with us. We'll have more news coming up after the break.